Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time here. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess, okay? Um, obviously you guys already saw the title to this video so you know what it's about. Um, I don't know what the cards are going to say yet but I can tell you the energies that I'm feeling. I've been doing these divine masculine, divine feminine, karmic, like seeing what's going on, tapping into the collective energies. Um, I've felt very called by the divine, <clears throat> by spirit to do it for you guys. Sorry. And this is like the energies, they just keep shifting and changing, right? Because people are always shifting and changing. All right. So keep in mind, you guys, that this is a general reading. Okay. Parts of it are going to be for you and parts of it might not. Just take what is for your story and leave the rest. Um, keep in mind that ro roles can be interchangeable or interchangeable bleh, or vice versa so um just put yourself where you belong in the situation uh and if this is your message you guys claim it like it subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell come back for more um and that's it so let's get right into it you guys i'm gonna be starting off with some psychic tarot okay we are honing in on the current energies around the masculine at this time because this is what I'm feeling, you guys. I feel, and those of you who know, like everything I say is for a reason and I feel the cards, I feel energy, I channel energy and I see things, feel things, just know things, right? Right now the masculine is going through a tower moment. Like their world is kind of falling apart, okay? Um, they, for many of them, are stuck in unhappy, well, they're, you know, no one's ever stuck, but they feel, their perception is they feel stuck, okay? In, an, in a karmic situation with a karmic, okay? Now, I feel that this masculine, sorry guys, you guys know I get a little fidgety sometimes when, when I start channeling, um, that this masculine, they feel like, what do I do, okay? Because on one hand, they've gotten themselves into this mess with a karmic, right? Who they're not happy with and their loyalties lie with the divine feminine, okay? And their heart and soul, or with the heart, or with the feminine, the, the DF, right? So, um, oh my God, I can't believe I just licked my knuckle. Really, you guys? Wow. Okay, it's been a long day. I've been working nonstop. So, um, let's see. But I was, I, I felt an energetic shift because I feel like shit is going down big time, like between the masculine and the karmic, okay? And everyone's situation is going to be different. So, as you're following along, if you're like, well, I thought like this already happened like a week or two ago, right? Like, just know that, like, that's someone else's timeline. That just wasn't for you at that moment, but it might be happening for you right now, right? So, it just depends what timeline we're on, okay? I'm reading for a lot of people in the collective, okay? And this is general. All right, give me current energies, please, around the masculine at this, at this time. That was the solar plexus, by the way, which means they feel they're super in their emotions. Their emotions kind of feel out of control. And they're taking back their power. Look what this is. Speaking of emotions, it's the heart space. The heart chakra. This masculine is so in their emotions right now. They're in their feels. Okay. Um, I feel that they are, they are recognizing that they're, the hole that has left, been left in their heart is much bigger than just uh, any other kind of connection that they've had in the past. They've been trying to fill the hole in their heart that you left or that the divine feminine left, but they can't because this connection is destined. It's, it's much deeper than that. And look at that. We have balance here. The divine angels, okay, protection, full circle. Things are about to come full circle here. The masculine is waking up to the fact that they, they're waking up to the fact of what they've done to the divine feminine, okay? Um, and it's really bringing in a wave of, of, of emotion for them. And it's really opening up and basically awakening the heart chakra even more. Look at this, spiritual union flipped right over. We've got a lot of green here. This is fertility. This is newness, freshness rejuvenation, growth. It's like, see how their heads are together? I, I'm hearing the masculine go, let's just put our heads together. Like, let's put our heads together and make this work. Like, let's put our heads together and think of, you know, like they want to come together with you in union. 
once more is what I'm hearing right. <clears throat> We've got four and two, which is six. This is about movement. Choices. Putting your guys' heads together to move things forward. But this, this masculine is having a lot of awakenings and they're having a lot of like, um, like aha moments and, and moments of enlightenment. Okay. So they're very emotional at their time. Their heart is, their heart chakra is, is lit up. It's, it's wide open here. Green means go, right? You guys, green means go. Discontent and boredom. Masculine is in not a very happy place, you guys. And then the waiting game here. The waiting game. And then we have another four and two. Holy shit. Look at that, you guys. See, this is why. This is why I felt called to sit down and put my face on camera once more for you guys. Because everyone's like, you're feeling better. You know, where, where's your face? So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I miss you guys, by the way. And thank you guys so much for all of your support. I love you guys. Seriously, from, from the bottom of my, from my heart space, my heart chakra, um, it means a lot how like you guys are like, you know, take time, rest, feel better. Um, you know, cause I, as an energetic reader, I, I, if my energy is low and my cup is not filled, I cannot fill other people's cups as a healer, right? And a light worker. Anyways, four and two, six. And then right after that, four, two. Okay. So the two and the two go together, right? Which also make four. All right. Um, so this is about this waiting game being over here. It's like a long time coming here. And the waiting game is almost done. This is about these you know, it's an hourglass, right? So the masculine feels pressure right now. They feel like, they feel like time is running out with you, with the divine, with the divine feminine. Okay. They feel like it's like a time crunch. They're afraid. They're thinking of all these different things, you know, and see, and, and this is where it is. Like you guys are connecting telepathically, psychically, like in your dreams. Okay. You, you guys are connecting in your dreams, meeting up in your dreams. You guys are actually having conversations in your dreams with each other because you guys have that kind of spiritual connection where you can do that for many of you. So you're meeting up in your dreams and you guys are talking about like, I love you. I want to be with you or, or the masculine comes to you and asks you like, I need to know, do you love me or do you so love me? And you're like, yes, you know, it's these kind of dreams that are actually your guys' higher selves, you guys meeting up in that, in that state of subconscious, right? Talking about this union, this partnership. This is not being able to let go. The masculine feels like the roots are so deep, all right? They are so intertwined and connected to you. It's just been a matter of time. They were hoping that as time passed here, that you would come to them. But they realize as they have ascended more and healed more, and as they've had more aha moments, enlightenment, and their awakening, they have realized that they are very discontent with their current situation with their life. I'm telling you guys, they keep trying to fill the holes in their heart that this connection has left. But this is a twin flame or this is a deep, deep past life soulmate. This is something that is a very rare kind of connection, okay? You guys know if you watch my videos, that's been happening during these videos specifically. And this is about the energy gaining momentum. Someone leaving a karmic behind. Done. Out. They're turning their back. Okay. This is what happened. This is essentially like the four of cups energy in the tarot. This, uh, the, the DM, the DM turned their back on, on all this fertility in the past, all this green, all this abundance, this new beginning that was handed to them with you or with the divine feminine they turn their back on this green on this happiness see that and see what their life has been like since then they turn their back and it's they now they are facing the boring the mundane there's no passion there's no excitement there's no thrill it's just like another karmic cycle another person who reminds them of another person that they dated or that they were with and now they're also encountering the same 
fucking problems that they've always encountered in connections with people because they turn their back on a divine connection and they've been under judgment from the universe. They're now figuring out they need to turn back around. So they're very bored with their life. They're discontent. They feel extreme regret. They feel like this is a missed opportunity here. What else, please? What else about the what energy is around the masculine at this time? Give me current energy around the DM at this time. I keep hearing, what did I do? What did I do? It's like, how did I get here again? How did I get here again? That wanted to come out. Look at that. Prosperity begins and then destiny. This is what they are turning around back around to, right? Like they turned their back on it. And they're turning back around. Prosperity begins. This is like Ace of Pentacles energy, but see that? It's it's the touch. It's the partnership. They There is no chemistry with anyone else like the chemistry. And they know. See this? They know in their mind's eye, in their soul, in their intuition. <clears throat> because remember now, they are ascending as well. They are on their spiritual path and healing path and journey. And they are awakening. And have been ascending and awakening. And depending on where your story is, they could be, you know, pretty far along. But you're still much farther along. But you've known, or the, the Divine Feminine has known what this connection is. Essentially, right now, you guys, the masculine's heart space and their soul and their intuition, every single part of them, mind, body, soul, is aligning. And it is pulling them back to the Divine Feminine. To the Divine Feminine. Now, please don't leave me stupid ass fucking comments down below saying, well, I don't want him. I don't want him. Then don't watch the video. This isn't your reading then. <laughs> Go watch another reading, right? This is for the people where this is a deep twin flame and or past life soulmate, right? Or whatever. It's a, it's a destined bond. It's a soul contract. That was meant to be in this lifetime. And now the wheel is turning. This person, I feel that the masculine, this masculine is kind of a floozy. Is, they're someone who, they use their uh, their wand with, with the divine feminine a lot. Okay, they're probably very good looking. They go through women very easily. They don't catch feelings very easily. They're really good at keeping their emotions locked up, their heart locked up. They don't fall very easily, hardly ever is what I'm hearing. But they've gone through other feminines, other other DFs, right? Other karmics. And they there's no one. Nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to you. All they want once more is companionship with the Divine Feminine. See these roots once more again. The waiting game is over. We have two, one, right? Two, one, zero. But in the tarot, ones, right? You go through, blah, 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 blah. One, ten, ten goes to one. All right. Let's get some more. Let's get some tarot. Let's get some. This is my Halloween jack-o'-lantern tarot. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, too. Two of Cups. Starting out. Where are we at? 1355, you guys. 455. Five. Woo! Temperance. 14 in the Major Arcana. 14. Healing. This masculine, um, for a lot of you guys, I feel like, um, I think this came out of the reading earlier. I feel like they, um, turn their back on you because of, um, like, like circumstances here, like in the fact where your energy was so addicting to them where they were scared. They were scared. See this rainbow? You lit them up in every single way, shape and form. I'm telling you. You awoken this, this masculine's or the DF, the divine feminine awoken this masculine's heart chakra. 
they awoken their their mind their dreams everything again like this it was like they came alive okay but the masculine turned their back on destiny and they went under judgment like they've been having tower moment after tower moment probably losing money they could have been losing their job they could have had trouble with the law they could, um, you know, be losing property. Like there's all kinds of things that have caused these tower moments because of the choices the masculine kept making. And now the masculine is getting to this point where they are finally realizing that their repeated actions, their bad choices are what's causing this rep repetitive like downfall. So now they're in a place of acceptance. Okay. They're accepting. And with this prosperity begins, it's showing me that they are accepting fault here. It's like, hey, like, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? All right, let's get some tarot. Give me the energy, please, around the divine masculine at this time. What is the energies around the divine masculine at this time? Something flipped. Four of swords, look at that. Spending time alone. Healing. Three of swords is hanging up there on the wall. Actually, all four of the swords are up on the wall. Wow. So this is everything they're thinking of. They're thinking, they're jumbling it all together. They're thinking of the three of swords, how to break up with the karmic, how to end separation with you, how to end their heartbreak, their loss, their grief, and how to end that third party circle for those of you where they are in one. But they're thinking about all this together. And they're also thinking about when they do that, that boom, that means that they're free to come speak their truth to you with that fourth sword, which is the ace of swords. Okay. So it's like they keep going in circles, but they're healing. They're healing. This person is used to mind games. They're used to playing, like they are used to people playing games and connections. See on this waiting game, it almost looks like a track, like a running track, like in high school or on like the football field. Do you know what I mean? A racetrack, right? Like you run. So this for me is like them looking back and going, wow, like I thought I was about to go on, like be running like another freaking crazy marathon or something you know because of how intense the connection was it scared them <clears throat> but they went in what they've gone within they've been healing they've taken a lot of losses for sure and they're praying look at this praying i feel like that this person feels like even if they go their whole life like they will still want you in death like they're praying that you guys come together even if it's in death See, he's all in his suit and armor, ready to fight for you. As long as it takes, even if it takes till death, they'll keep their armor on to fight, right? They're praying for this miracle. Look at that, Ace of Cups. You can't make this stuff up. You just can't. They're playing, praying for that, for, for another moment with you, right? To express to you their overflowing emotion, their love. Their gratitude is what I'm hearing. They're so grateful and gracious towards you. I feel like that's why she's holding her heart right here like this. It's like, oh, you have no idea what you've done for me. Again, with the green, and there's a lot of romance here, a lot of passion between you guys, um, a lot of affection. I feel like when you guys were together, you couldn't keep your hands off of each other. And this masculine's not used to having that either. That kind of like open, real, like real love. But it's there, you're not used to wanting to give it back, and it scared them. Tell me what else. Eight of Cups, look at that. Two of Swords, bottom of the deck. They are making a decision. They've been in land of indecision, and those of them that are, they're making choices. For some of you guys, the karmic knows about you, but for some of you guys, the masculine has kept you a secret, like your connection, a secret from the karmic or whatever, okay? They don't want the karmic to know that the decision they're making to leave the karmic behind or end a third party has to do with you. 
They're protecting you. They're protecting you in your decision. Sorry, guys, that was my tummy. It's dinner time. And you know what I'm going to make for dinner? I'm going to make breakfast for dinner tonight. I'm going to make myself pancakes and bacon and eggs. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing. I can't wait. <laughs> and I'm going to watch, I think I'm going to watch a scary movie and just snuggle up and stuff because I have to get up early for work again tomorrow. Eight of Cups. So the masculines are making this decision, right, to walk away from the karmic, but they're protecting you from this karmic because I feel like this karmic is, it's been coming out as a little unstable here. I feel like this karmic also has people spying on you or spying on the masculine. I'm really getting that the, yeah, look at this seven of wands. See, I'm getting here that the karmic, um, has been trying to be on their best behavior because I feel like the karmic has some tendencies to act psycho or crazy. And they showed these flashed these sides to the, to the masculine before look at that seven of wands. See, and, um, the masculine was like, whoa, and blocked them out. So the karmic's been putting on a show here, but the, but the masculine's not fooled by anything. And they're not really worried about it because of where their heart is. But they're walking away from people, places, and things at this time that don't serve them. And they're coming straight towards towards you. Towards the feminine. Give me the current energies, please. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at that. These two fell out. Look at that. All tied up in envy. See, it's the karmic. There's a karmic here, a feminine karmic, more than likely, right? Doesn't have to be. Could be a, a, a male karmic, but it feels like a feminine karmic who's very envious of this connection if they know about it. They're envious of you if they know about you, watching you, spying on you, having their friends watch you. I was getting that from um, all the crows up here in the sky. Like they have your friends checking you out and stuff. Probably making like fake uh, social media accounts for some of you to try to mess with you. It's like real psycho stuff, like real crazy toxic karmic stuff. And for a lot of you, the DM is dealing with the toxic karmic here to teach them yet again another lesson of the fact that they weren't learning. They kept getting caught up, tied up with these crazy jealous karmics, toxic karmics. But this karmic is very envious, all tied up in knots, okay, over the 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 df the one that that holds the heart of the of the masculine the one who is very high vibrational very loving compassionate super highly intuitive beautiful like i'm getting that the the the, the divine feminine if it's you like you you present yourself very like great gracefully and with a lot of respect um you you know take care of yourself your looks see she takes care of her look. She's very beautiful, very pretty. You know, the and and the 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 DM loves that about you. The DM loves that about you, your energy and your essence and how sexy and sensual and feminine you are. That's why you you hold their heart. You're that's the masculine's heart there. But you have, you know, you you hold your heart up before anything else, right? Anything and anyone, and you're like, no, self-love first and foremost. So the divine feminine does. Where are we at? 2343. All right. Tell me about how the masculine, how is the DM feeling towards the collective at this time? How is the DM feeling towards the DF at this time? Blossoming abundance and a contract. Look at that. Three and six is nine wish fulfillments and, and completion of cycles. Masculine is ending things to bring in new beginnings. The divine feminine is closing out cycles as well. Major life cycles. But this contract here, the, the masculine wants to marry you. They want to bring balance here. They want to sign legal documents with you. They want to own homes with you. They want to have investments with you. They want to sign a marriage certificate with you. They want people to bear witness as you guys exchange your vows someday. They want blessing abundance and they see all of that with you. How is the masculine feeling towards the divine feminine at this time? Towards the collective, please. How does the DM feel towards the collective? Archangel Michael, this is the root chakra. 
they're scared, they're feeling fearful, okay? Because they appreciate the heck out of you, but they know that they sh they know that they did not show you uh, the appreciation that you deserve, how they truly feel. Okay, but they want to protect you, Archangel Michael. They want to they they have this energy where they want to protect you, all right? Because they find you so beautiful and like gentle your energy. And this this is their their survival. They want to make this, they want to bring this connection back. Get down to the root of the problem. They, they've realized that they were root of the problem. Okay. This is sexual energy though. This is Kundalini. All right. A lot of sexual energy here. I mean, look at how he's staring at her. My gosh. A lot of you guys are working with Archangel Michael at this time. The temple path, look at this. The masculine feels like you are their divine path, that you are their destiny. They are aligning at this time. They've been, they're spiraling into this connection. They're walking the path and, and going towards the golden temple. Also, this looks like a place where there could be a marriage, right? Where you get married. All right, let's get some of my message cards, you guys. Let's see what the DM wants to say to the collective. What does the Divine Masculine want to say to the Collective at this time? What does the Divine Masculine want to say to the Collective at this time? Please and thank you, Spirit. Protecting you from karmic. I told you guys. I fucking told you guys. That they are protecting you from the karmic. For a lot of you guys, they're trying to keep things a secret. If the karmic is asking questions about you guys, they're trying to like sway them away from it. Lie about things probably. It's deception. It's deceitful energy. But they're trying to protect you from the karmic because I'm telling you guys, this karmic is crazy. And they've seen a side of the crazy from this karmic. I'm not the same person. They want to tell you they're not the same person. You are a dream come true. See, you're everything that they could ever dream of. Want. And you guys are also meeting up in your dreams. There's something about that. You guys meet up in your dreams and you guys tell each other how you feel. You hold each other. You are intimate with each other. You have sex with each other. You're, you know what I mean? It's all of that. It's very real. Twin flame union. Holy shit. Your dream come true. I feel like someone's going to show up and surprise you. For a lot of you guys, they want to do this face to face. They want to, it's like they, they want to hold you and see your smile and tell you all of it like in person. But this is a union. Karmic X wants you back. Oh. All right. So for some of you guys, you have a karmic X here that's been eyeing you as well. That wants you back careful with that one use discernment right listen to your intuition exactly listen to your intuition on that one i needed this journey to understand my true feelings see the masculine has been on this journey eight of cups eight of cups is a journey of self-discovery it's learning that you can keep walking away from things but until you face the shadows and walk away from the things that do not truly serve you and face that to start your healing process. It's all of it, right? I was foolish to leave you, see? They feel it where we're at 28 minutes. For the collective, please, how does the divine masculine feel towards the divine feminine? Unhealed emotional wounds from the past. That's what held them back. Look at this. I have abandonment wounds. That's what held them back in the past. From you guys. They had unhealed wounds from, from toxic karmics from before this karmic they're with. That keeps, I'm an absolute fool for you. I'm a fool, fool, fool for you. Whatever you want, I'll get it. That's uh, Alan Jackson, okay? Your essence is healing to me, see? It's your aura, it's your essence, it's your smell, it's your taste, it's your voice, it's your personality. It's a hole that cannot be filled. What's that song? Um, you're, oh, it's George Strait. You're a fire I can't put out, okay? And he talks about that, like how the embers are still burning and how she's a fire he can't put out, okay? And look at that. I'm ready to make you mine. They want to commit. 
they want to come out with you. I am jealous of the attention you're getting. See, they see your glow up. You're looking good. You're taking care of yourself. You're out and about. You're social. You're doing things. They see other, like, you know, you have other guy friends, girlfriends, you know, liking things, things, you know, whatever. They just see you getting attention and it's pissing them off. I know that you're my true love, my twin flame, my soulmate. They know. They know what this connection is now. Okay. Enlightenment. They're ascending. They're waking up to it. I am terrified to approach you. Yeah, they are. Because look at They avoided what they were feeling in the past, you guys. They ran. We have a, we have, we had a runner here. There was a runner. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm sure I'm right. All right. Let me just get a couple into it oracles for you guys. How does the divine masculine feel please towards the, here we go. Temperance. See that earlier? Remember I added up the cards earlier and I got to 14 and I said, that's temperance. There it is. Came out. <clears throat> they want to bring balance and healing here. They want to show you that they don't want to just be one foot in, one foot out. They want to show you that they want to be fully committed. Okay. But also they're healing at this time. Give me the energy, please, around the karmic and the DM. The karmic and the DM. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. The, they're, they're stopping the clock on that. The, the, it's stopped. Stop turning. No longer turning. They're done. They're done. They're stopping the clock on it. Look at that. The mice. Illness, fatigue, stress, anxiety, worry, reduce, restless, filth, decay, deteriorate. This connection with the karmic has deteriorated. It's decayed. It's causing nothing but anxiety and fear for the DM, right? Because they want to come towards you. But the longer they're with this karmic, they're losing you. And for many of you, they already feel like they've lost you. Fear, nagging. See, this, uh, this karmic is very naggy. They nag to the DM and the DM doesn't like it. Okay, but the DM is very nervous here as well. Look at this. They're nervous. Why? Because reconciliation is on their mind. They want to bring you a gift. Maybe they send you flowers. Call you first, message you. Hey, did you get my flowers? I don't know, but there's something. They show up to the house with flowers. They show up to your work with flowers. They want to reconcile here. And bottom of the deck is the bellows. Three, three. It's a catalyst. It's fanning the flame. Okay, the little flame the George Strait song I was just singing, the fire that I, you, the fire I can't put out. It's this little flame that just keeps burning and it just, it can't, it won't go out. And it won't ever go out, right? It's an eternal flame. They want to fan the flames and to get things going again, ignite things. So you guys, this is what I have. I'm going to keep you updated. I'm going to keep the energies flowing. Okay, whenever. But I feel this massive shift. Like stuff is crumbling all around. It's a major tower moment going on. And the reason why towers happen, right, is they crumble down is because they weren't built on a strong foundation, right? And that's what the, the DM did with the karmic, went for a low vibrational karmic once more, started building something on a wobbly foundation that was not strong like this. And now it's all crumbling, falling down. So... That's what I have for you guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Again, if this was your message, like, okay, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. It helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys, I love you guys. But it also helps to tie your energy into the channel so I can pick up on your energies better. Um, and if you want to hone in on your personal situationship, twin flame journey, past life, anything like that, I am still taking personals. So email me. It's down below. Um, the pricing is there. Uh, I can do um, a live video. A reading with you guys or I could do a recorded reading like this and send it to you. So anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.